Welcome to the kingdom. Hello and welcome to CLA Moments with Pastor Fred Moore. I am Pastor Fred Moore and I have the privilege of being the pastor of the Kingdom of God Christian Center right here in the beautiful city of Round Rock, Texas. Listen, I want to thank you for those of you that join us on a regular basis that have shared our podcast with loved ones and friends. Uh, subscribe. We ask you to be a blessing and just subscribe to our podcast. We want to take the gospel of the kingdom to the common man, to as many people as we possibly can. And you can be a blessing by sharing and subscribing. Okay, beloved, we're going to get into our seal. I thought, but let's pray. Father, we thank you again for our time together. And we're still, Father God, at the beginning of a new year. So we want to come and sit at your feet. We want to begin in the beginning, God. We want to begin our new year with you, our Father and our God. So speak to us, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, beloved. Uh, we want to continue to see that thought that we developed, started in our first one. We said this is a new year. Again, happy belated new year, but thank you that it's still a new year. Amen. And the see that thought that we're developing is a new year, a new you with expectations of new things. Say that with me out there. A new year, a new you with expectations of new things. Now, I got so happy in the last podcast that I couldn't even get through the text. So, you know, and again, I pray, beloved, hear me, hear, hear, hear your heart, hear, hear Pastor Moore's heart. I pray that you and I always have an excitement for the word of God. See, when I was reading that to you, it's not, I tell my church, beloved, see, I'm a former drug user and I haven't used any substances over 40 years. And I'm glad to say that alcohol or drugs. But I, but I said that to say this, I always want the Heavenly Father to see me as excited about the word as I am about other things. So I'm saying that even before I read the text, because see, a lot of times God don't see us excited about his word. We get excited about everything, but not excited about his word. I always want to be a preacher. First of all, I always want to be a believer and a preacher that when it comes to the word of God, you want to make me get excited? Let's talk about the word. You want to make you want to make Fred more smile? Let's talk about the word. And I'm helping somebody right there. Don't ever look at this like it's laborious or it's boring. Man, this word, I I I, I be reading some stuff to y'all. Y'all might not remember this. I always joke with my girls because you know I, I I'm a girl dad and a girl granddad. And I be trying to tell the women in my life, all this, all these uh uh, reality shows, Real Housewives of this, the Real Housewives of that. You want to see drama? Get in your Bible. <laughs> God will show you some real drama, man. See, they faking it, trying to make it. They faking it, trying to make it. In this Bible, you'll see some Real Housewives. You know what I mean? You go, you get over there and read about Rachel and them and, and how they was going back and forth. You'll see some real housewives. You ain't seen it until you see Sarah tell, hey, guy, you go sleep with my man. So I come on. I'm talking about real stuff, y'all. Real stuff. I pray you always have a, a, an appetite, a sweet tooth for the word of God. And I haven't even read the text yet, but that's for somebody. It's at the beginning of the year. I pray that the kingdom family is on the Bible bus. Because hear me, beloved, remember Jesus only used one thing when he faced the devil. He only used one thing when he faced the devil. And you and I sometimes try to face him without Jesus is one thing. He only used one thing. One phrase repeated three times. It is written. Pray that what's your appetite. It's the beginning of the year. Come on, Kingdom family, get on the Bible bus. It's early. Some of y'all don't be jumping off just yet. We ain't even got, we, we ain't even made the first block. <laughs> just kidding. Amen. Revelation 21, verse number five. Revelation 21, verse number five. Again, the King James Version says, he, set, he that sat up on the throne said, behold, I make all things new. And he said unto me, write for these words of faithful, and true. Then in Isaiah chapter 43, verse 18 and 19, the King James Version, I'm going to read that version and the New Living of Isaiah 43, verse 18 and 19 says, Remember ye not the former things, neither consider the things of old. Behold, I will do a new thing, and now it shall spring forth. Shall you not, shall you not know it? I will make a way in the wilderness 
and rivers in the desert. Now, you, you might wonder why is God refi- ref- referring to the wilderness and the desert? God is trying to tell us, listen, I don't care what conditions you found yourself in. Oh, I'm about to help somebody right here. Wilderness or desert ain't going to stop this new. I'm about to turn around in this chair. I'm about to turn around in this chair, y'all. Listen, it, he's saying, I don't care what your conditions or your surroundings are. It's not going to stop this new thing or these new things that I'm about to do in your life. I don't care what your conditions are. I don't care what your surroundings are. Whether you are in a desert or a wilderness, it's not going to stop your new thing. Somebody say, talk, Pastor Moore. Come on now. He says, I will even make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. Now in Isaiah 43, verse 18 and 19, the new living says this, but forget all that. It's nothing compared to what I'm going to do. For I'm about to do something new. See, I have already begun, and I'm agreeing with you in this first month of January that you're already beginning to see the seedlings of new things springing up in your life. I'm agreeing with you and your family that already at the first month of 2024, you're beginning to see seedlings, things beginning to pop up in the ground of your life of some new things. That God is doing. He said, for I'm about to do something new. See, I've already begun. Do you not see it? I will make a pathway through the wilderness and I will create rivers in the wasteland. See, beloved, here's here's where I'm at as, as pastor of the kingdom. And thank you again for joining us for these Sila moments. I think a good way for us to always begin the year, first of all, is to, to bless the Lord for his love, grace, and mercy and how he brought us through another year. You still here. I'm still here. And I think it's just a good place to pause and thank the Lord. I think that's just a good place to pause and thank the Lord. So here we are, beloved. We're at the beginning of another year. Watch this. We're at the beginning of another year. Watch this, God, son. We're at the beginning of of another year. What do you mean, Pastor Moore? Another 12 months, another 52 weeks, another 365 days, another 8,760 hours, another 525,600 minutes, another 31,536,000 seconds. We're at a another year. And I want you and I to go into this new year with this thought, a new year, new you with expectations of new things. And as we talk about expectations of new things, I want you and I to have, again, three things, beginning with an expectation. You hear me say that a lot. Beginning with what, Pastor Moore? An expectation. What is an expectation, Pastor Moore? An expectation is a strong belief that something will happen or be in the case of the future. Watch this now. See, here's the thing, beloved. Our faith in God should result in a positive expectation. Too many of us expect things, but you're expecting the wrong thing. Our faith in God should result in a positive expectation. Here's the secret for you. And when you expect nothing to happen, guess what? Nothing happens. Another word with the expectation is the word hope. And it is defined by a positive expectation of something good happening to you. I want you and I to begin this year with a positive expectation. You and me. You and I. Amen. Say, I received that, Pastor Moore. Oh, I'm, I'm excited about this series. As you can see, I'm not getting far in this. But listen, beloved, we would love for you to reach out to us at kgccatx.org. Remember, we're on live stream, Spotify, Facebook, YouTube. We are out there on a lot of platforms, so please reach out to us. You want to email us, you can always email us at kgcc96 at gmail.com. If you're in the Austin Round Rock area, we love to have you in our Sunday morning service at 11 a.m. Our Tuesday night Bible study, 75 in and out in 75 minutes. We receive a word, we worship, receive a word, and we leave out 
to witness. Again, I just want to thank my godson, Xavier, for helping me with this podcast, Team Carmichael, for our stream of ministry, and of course, my wife and kids for their love and support of me. This is Pastor Fedmore. Love, peace, and blessings, beloved.